enter the orchard and immediately see the flavorella in full bloom, plum cut. We'll walk over there and look at the other things. Past a couple of persimmons that are just starting to show buds. The hachia on the left and fuyu on the right. There's the cotton candy. Pretty good bloom underway. There's the summer delight aprium, which is, uh, I guess there's no bloom yet, but it's uh, got some getting close. Flavorella is a little past its peak, but boy, is it a stunner. And this is the Royal Rosa apricot, which I don't think is a very good apricot, but it's a proven pollinizer for flavorella, and that's why I have it and have it right across here. Some uh, nectarines and peaches just barely about to get going. Um, Chacapare, Array, apricot or plum cut, just starting to bloom. Hope the fruit's better than it's been in recent years. This is the Hunza apricot with its edible kernel and amazing flavor and it's uh, starting to wake up and looks like it could have a decent bloom. It's been pretty productive for me over the years. Flavor King hasn't started yet. This is a new tree I just planted. Had to replace my old Flavor King because it had severe canker. Uh, this is my Flavor Delight Aprium. I, it's, I try to treat it for brown rot. I don't know. When I see blooms that have just finished and are all brown, I figure my treatment wasn't effective. I, that's been a real problem on this tree in recent years. It used to be reliable for me, but fruit hasn't been so good lately. Really happy to see this. The, um, trying to focus a little bit there. This is the Hunza, uh, excuse me, this is the uh, Monique apricot, white fleshed, and it is really ready to burst forward, which is just, just great. Canadian white blenheim, the latest blooming apricot I know of is the Splash Pluot, always an early and full bloomer. Newly planted flavor Queen, which has lots of blooms right now. Um, this is the best bloom I've had yet on this, uh, I don't know, three, four year old, um, what is this one called, Emerald Drop Pluot. Got some apples there that aren't opening yet. Flavor Supreme, flew out, and um, that's most of what's blooming, but we'll take a quick walk over on the other side. Burgundy Plum is going to be blooming soon. Liz's late nectarine doesn't look like it's going to be late in its bloom this year. It's, it's one of the most advanced of the nectarine and peaches in terms of how much its buds are swelling. Wish I had a better uh, device than the old iPhone I'm using, but you get the idea. This is uh, Santa Rosa. Lots of popcorn, no blooms yet. This is a flavor grenade pluot. Lots of popcorn. Should have a bloom maybe even later today. Flavor punch blueberry getting ready to bloom. The other blueberries, the uh, Sugar Twist, and then the, always the first of the blueberries to bloom is the uh, Candy Heart. You can see it's got lots and lots of popcorn and it's got a few blooms already open. Emerald Butte Plum, one of the last plums to bloom. It usually overlaps with quite a few of the others, including some of the pluots and typical of it to be um, just getting into bud swell at the time that the Santa Rosa is about to bloom. That's, that's the normal pattern. Over here we have the first peach or nectarine to have blooms on it. This is the sa Sazi Swirl. It's the first year I've had blooms, so I'm looking forward to it. Hope it fruits. Um, it's got really, really nice flowers. 
And uh, the other peaches and nectarines, like I said, they're not they're not ready yet, but they're they won't be long. So that's the uh, report from the main orchard on. Oh wait a minute, I bypassed a few things. <laughs> Alameda hems kirk apricot got some red buds. And then a bunch of apples here, also not ready. This is the white knockout apricot. Very happy to see that it's blooming. It's, it's interesting, it's got very pink blossoms, it seems, even though it's a white-fleshed apricot. That's true of the Monique as well. Probably the pinkest blooms I have of any apricot, and yet it's a white-fleshed apricot. And then this is the Mesh Mesh Amara plum cut, which is um, a variety I had in San Diego and really liked and just recently added it here about, about a year ago, I guess. So this is its first real bloom. And so that's it from the orchard on February 26th, 2024.